Well, after the episode waking up in the morning and finding the canal boat right across uh, the canal, and I was totally unaware of it. We were asleep. Um, the day was very windy and wet, so we didn't travel. We spent the afternoon in the canal tavern, uh, which is near Skipton, just uh, past Barnoldswick, and it's well worth a visit if you're ever in the area. It's a cellar's... Uh, Got a lot of interest in history, and uh, we had a very pleasant afternoon. The next day we started travelling, and there was more drama to come. So continuing on, it leaves the Liverpool Canal towards Wigan. Had to stop early yesterday and go to the pub because the wind was so high it was making the boat uncontrollable. So it's uh, a new day now, it's a nice still day. It's been raining most of the night but it's stopped now. Uh, we have a tunnel to do, Full Ridge Tunnel. And uh, tunnels are not my favourite thing to do, but it's got to be done. Once again, it continues to be beautiful countryside. So it's a quiet time at the moment and we're immediately after Easter. Hardly any other boats about at all. So we've just gone across the Lancashire Yorkshire border, we're now into Lancashire. Bye bye Yorkshire. It's on this bridge coming up. Bridge 147. There's a uh, white marker above the bridge here. A vertical white marker. And she shows you where the deepest part of the canal is going through the bridge so you don't ground out on the side. So we're just coming up to the uh, Full Ridge Tunnel, which is traffic light controlled Might have to wait around a little bit until the lights turn green. This boat here's got a very tall chimney on it. Don't think that's going through a tunnel anytime soon. Boaters facilities here at the Full Ridge Wharf.
average time to travel through the tunnel, 20 minutes at 2.8 miles per hour. The length is 1,490 meters. Into the tunnel then. This is a dead straight one, you can see the other end. Oh, so you can see it, can't you? Yeah. I don't think the bloody light's on at the front. Oh yes it is. Yes it is. So there's a sign there saying the tunnel's closed for emergency repairs. Don't go through. At the other end where we came through there was no such sign so I just went on the green light. So once again Canal and River Trust need to get their executives down here and take a pay cut and sort things out. That's the reservoir they've just finished working on. Largely, I believe, helps feed the canal. Oh, the power of Ford. Flight of locks. If you're on your own, it's challenging. Modern day motorway right next to it now. Original old bridge. Right after the lock here. So the motorway is in two sections here, there's one, one set of bridges and then under the old original canal farm cart track bridge and then uh, the other carriageway of the motorway is directly after that. So the canal was here long before all of the motorway of course.
that's looking back the other way. Here's a situation. <clears throat> the last but one lock on the flight at Barraford coming down, it leaks so badly at the far end that it's drained the pound. and left the boat completely stranded Now that gives you an idea of what it looks like. So the reason it's drained this pound out is because the bottom lake lock gates leak so badly that the lock couldn't fill up fast enough and it's drained the pound down. It's the aforementioned bottom lock gates that are just letting so much water out it's just unbelievable and this lock was full up five minutes ago and all the paddles are closed and that's the last lock on the flight going down there that pound's all right because it's um had all the water from the pound above it Well, they've refloated us now. It's been interesting. Just one more to do. Well, there's Mrs. Swan on her nest, surrounded by loads of litter. That's sad, isn't it? All that litter. It's as bad as being in India.